Hi everyone, I'm Nikki Renee Daniels and I'm here with the Kaufman Music Center to show you my makeup routine for a performance, um, whether it's a Broadway show or a concert at the Kaufman Center, like the one I'm doing at Merkin Hall on October 24th. This is my routine that I use to try to look good on stage. <laughs> So let's get started. First, I use this primer. It's a Makeup Forever primer. It's shine and control because I have combination skin. So uh, sometimes I get a little oily in my forehead and on my nose. So this stuff kind of keeps me matte while I'm on stage and in performance in case I get a little hot on stage. So it keeps me nice and shine free. Um, next, I do my foundation and I use this NARS um let's see it is soft matte foundation my color is Macau and um, I really like it because it's not too thick but it's good coverage and um it show you know it hides any imperfections that might be on my skin I also like to use this beauty blender um I got it at Sephora and I just found out that you're supposed to wet it before you use it. It's supposed to help everything go on a little smoother and not get caught in those creases and lines. So, I like that tip and I think it works. It keeps everything kind of on top of all of those creases and stuff. And I like to make sure that I put it all the way into my hairline so we don't have a line of demarcation between foundation and no foundation. Um, so yeah, that's on. And then I follow it up with some concealer. I like to use Makeup Forever Ultra HD. By the way, this isn't an ad for anything. This is just what I actually use. I would love a partnership though if Sephora is interested. Um, so I put this on under my eyes and for performance, I actually put it on on my whole eyelid as well. And a little line down the nose and on the forehead and a little above my chin there. And if I have time, I kind of like to let it sit for a minute before I put it on or before I blend it in with my beauty blender. So I dot, 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 dot. I usually use the pointy side of it, which is the opposite side that I used for the foundation. And I dot, dot, dot over all these spots. And then I blend it in kind of up and out on the forehead and kind of blend it in on my chin and definitely down the middle of my nose. So the contour aspect, or I guess this would be the highlight aspect is done. I'm actually not huge on contour. So I thankfully have kind of strong high cheekbones. And next I use my powder and I just started using this minted powder, which I really like. Um, it's a black owned business and um, I feel like it just really lasts longer. It has like more of a full coverage. I also like MAC, um, MAC Makeup Splat Powder. Sometimes I use that. And I just kind of press it in all over my face. And next up, I like to do some brows. And lately I've been using a powder for my brows, especially for stage. I just think it looks a little more natural than a pencil, but a pencil will also work. So I just use this dark brown eyeshadow. I love this Smashbox palette. I don't think they make it anymore. So I'm gonna use it up until it's all gone. Really darken up those brows a little bit. 
It's really important to accentuate your eyes when you're on stage so people can really see your emotion and, you know, the eyes are the windows to the soul, they say. Just color those in. When I was in high school, I used to wax my eyes to a really thin line and eventually they never grew back. So <laughs> I was not blessed with a nice thick set of eyebrows. So I have to really fill them in, especially for stage. So that's that. And then I go in with a kind of nude brown tone and I just put it all over my eyelid. This is a Too Faced palette and this actually is called Nude, the color that I'm using. So I just go all over the lid with the nude, sort of as like a little base. And then I put a little highlight color on the brow bone. Try to blend that in. And then I go into my eyelid with a darker brown color. I feel like if I start with a darker brown color, then I add like a sort of highlight on top of it. It has a little more pop. And if I just start with the highlight color instead. So I do that just on the lid and kind of in the crease here. Really give my eyes some definition. And then for the highlight color, I tend to just use my fingers. I love this Victoria Beckham product. See, it comes in this cool little thing. It like presses it down. And I just kind of dab my finger in there and press it into my lid. Makes a nice little highlight there. Makes your eyes pop a little bit more. I think this will last forever, this product, because you only use a little bit. There we go. Sometimes I press it into the corner here, like the tear duct area, just to make my eyes a little brighter in the corner. And let's see, put the top back on. After that, I go back into the crease to make sure I have my brown there to really just make it pop a little bit more and if I'm on, going on stage I'll also add a little black into the corners of my eyes the very corners it's like a little V And then, so the color's not too harsh, I'll go back into the crease with just another, just a lighter color, usually a metallic, to kind of blend it up into the highlighted area, the top of my eye, so it's not like highlight, dark. It's like, you know, blended a little bit. I use another brush to just kind of blend it in so, and after that, I go in with a pencil black liner at the very base of my eye. My right eye is a little smaller, so I have to do kind of a smaller line on my right eye. And we curl, we must curl our lashes. Because we want our eyes to be open. <laughs> and I 
go in with my, oh, I forgot to line my under eye. For stage, I'll do a little bit of under eye also. Just a pitch like on the outside. Maybe blend that in a little bit. This is also a Victoria Beckham product. That I like. If it goes down too low, you can always take that concealer and kind of fix it. And then I go in with my mascara. I love this L'Oreal Voluminous mascara. It's pretty cheap drugstore brand. And I find it's just as good as the expensive $30 Sephora brands of mascara. Really make sure we get all those lashes. The lashes make all the difference. I get a lot of compliments on my lashes and, uh, to share one of my secrets, I use this stuff called my Runway Eyes, which I love. I put it on at night before bed. This is it, this little gold thing. And um, I found that when I was doing shows and wearing fake eyelashes, the glue was pulling out my eyelashes. So I started using my Runway Eyes and my lashes grew really long. I don't know if you can see them these are my natural lashes. But for stage, I always add fake lashes. They are a must. Even if I just know I'm getting my picture taken somewhere, I always use fake lashes. Especially as a mom, you know, I don't get as much sleep as I would like to get. So it's nice to just open up those eyes even more. <laughs> when our eyes is open and expressive as they can be. So I put on the glue. And let's see if I can do this without them being right in front of a mirror. So I'm gonna place the eyelashes as close to the base of my eye as I can get. Really press it in so that it's not, there's not like a line between where you're at the base of your lashes and the strip of these lashes. And I like to kind of press my eyelashes up so everything is still curling up. Here's my other one. Hey, where'd my glue go? Oh, here it is. Yeah, even if I'm going to an audition or have a press event or something, I go full lash. See, you can see the difference between this eye and this eye. It makes a big difference, especially on stage. So I'm gonna put this on. also just got this nifty tool that if you feel like you didn't get your lashes as close as you could to the base of the lash, you just kind of press, squeeze it in. It's like a little tweezer just to really unite the fake lash with your eye lash. Or sometimes I'll go back in with this curler and curl it up. So then after I put the lashes on and I know they're set, I use my liquid liner. I like this Makeup Forever liner. It's called Aqua Resist Graphic Pen. This is in just black, just plain black. And go over the top and make just a thin line. And if I'm being fancy, I'll like draw it up a little bit at the edge, like so. I don't know if you can see that. You really need like a sturdy liquid liner because it's kind of hard to apply. And this, the tip is like not floppy, so it makes it easier. And I almost forgot blush. Um, this is a minted 
blush that I'm using, Clay Too Much it's called. And um, I just actually watched a YouTube makeup tutorial on blush and how where you put it depends on your face shape. So this is kind of a darker color. So I kind of do it like it's a contour to accentuate those cheekbones. And you can also do it on your forehead if you want, and at your jawline, just to give a little more definition. And if I was just doing an everyday look, that might probably be enough for the blush. But when I'm on stage, I like to have a little more of a pop of color at the cheeks. Because when those lights hit you, sometimes they wash you out a bit. So I would give just a little peek on the apples of the cheeks. And my face is almost done. The last step is a lip. And I'm not a big lipstick person in general, but for stage you gotta wear it because you gotta accentuate your features so they stand out. So for stage I might use like Russian Red with this MAC. Oh, it's all messy. I don't know if you can see it. Russian Red for stage, but it's like an audition or more everyday look. I tend to do more light pinks like this Fenty. What is this called? Oh, I can't see it. Oh, it says Retro Rose. And for whatever lip color I use, I always start with this MAC Chestnut Liner. For some reason, my lips don't look good with colored liners. I have to start with just a basic brown. I'm kind of smudging in a little bit before I put the lipstick on. Voila. The lip is a little dark. I would probably blot that. Line it up a little bit. And then I like this, also this Fenty Heat stuff. It's really cool. It plumps your lips. Makes them a little juicier. Who doesn't want a juicier lip? So I put that on top a little bit. Rub it in. And voila! So that is my makeup routine. <laughs> if you made it this far, I hope it gave you a little insight on um, how we prepare to go on stage. Um, I also like to do my makeup like this if I know I'm going to be on a step and repeat or a press line where there's a lot of bright lights. Um, so Hope you enjoyed it, and especially we hope to see you at Merkin Hall for lots of concerts. Bye!